The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building. Let's Corey go. Saint Rose in the building. Yeah. What's good, bro? Saint Rose, my fool, my guy. Yo, we outside. I feel like you and Dizzy Banco might be related somewhere down Me, the line. Me, Dizzy Banco. <laughs> Not for real. He don't look like he got like he don't look a little bit like this today. Just a little bit. Yo, shout out to him because he makes some fire ass beats. Have you ever have you ever, you ain't ever worked with Dizzy yet, nah, right? Nah, nah, I ain't never worked with him. He makes some good beats though. Diz, hit him up. Oh yeah. How you been, up. bro? Been crazy. It's been life been good. You know, Mangella, you know, MMM. Going crazy Going right now. That MMM run, you know, we still running with it, for sure. I, I, MMM, right, has been, obviously, it's, it's been going viral, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, when did it, tell me the story of MMM. Like, like how did this song first, like, really kind of begin? Together? And did you know at the beginning? Like, how Hell did you, no, how, we all didn't know. Okay. Everybody in this room said we didn't know. Um, I was in a crib, and my boy T. Blossom, shout out my boy T. Blossom, um... He sent me the beat, mm. and I was just regular recording, like in the crib, smoking, because I recorded in the crib. Yeah. So I was smoking. I ain't gonna lie. I, was, I think I was smoking. Um, I was smoking gushes. Like, okay. Just gushes. That shit had me off my ass, nigga. Like, I had to go to sleep. Like after my first two, three hits, I only recorded like the hook. So after I recorded the hook, I went to sleep, and I woke up. I went to the kitchen to get some passion fruit. I'll go get some get some drink. I'm talking to my brother, and my brother just wants some, like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie. You gotta hurry up and da-da-da. Like, you know, you've been doing this music shit. For, you know, this little serious conversation. Mm. So I came back, and that's when part of the song was like, my brother just told me keep flying the pressure. I'm smoking on gushers, bowling the car. I don't need me a jumper. Like, that's how that um verse came apart. But, yeah, I just did that shit in the crib, put it out on my um album called Living Too Fast before the deluxe. Mm. And then it was slowly going, you know, a little thing on TikTok. Me and Flash was trying to figure out more ways to just get it more, like, popping and shit. And then we just started hitting the road. As soon as we started hitting the road, that's when it start, the song started catching on to the point that I flipped the narrow went to hop on it. Shout out to, again to my boy Flash. Mm. And, um, yeah, after that, it was just his history. That's sure. fire. And it's because, like, I feel like we haven't also heard from Flip in a while. Yeah, for so sure. So it's cool how, like, that record kind of helped like reinvigorate like the conversation around flip as well as yourself oh yeah he went crazy on that verse when, when was like did you first notice that it was kind of like moving like that the original or the remix either or both. either um when we did a show in chicago and um me and flash we did a show in chicago it was like my it was somewhere like the biggest crowd i ever performed in front of shout out benny the butcher for letting me open for him. And um, that was the last song we did, MMM. And they went crazy, like, all calls, clapping their heads. Oh, shit, my fault. No, you all call, <laughs> clapping their heads, going crazy. And I'm just like, oh, shit. Like, I ain't never get an all call day of my life. <laughs> like, right. I think they really jacking this. And then after that day, we were just like, yo, every time we, we perform, that's going to be the last song. And every time we perform MMM, every single time we tell people put their cameras out, lights out, they going crazy, jumping around. So I'm just like, oh yeah, this this is on, this is the one, mm -hmm. this is the one right here. So yeah, yeah. Nah, and that, the rest <laughs> of the history. Yeah. Huh? Do you feel like um, I feel like the one thing I always ask artists when they have a big record like that is like, do you feel that pressure now? Nah, I just be working. Okay. Yeah, I just be working. Yeah, I keep all the, all, all these people right here. These are the people that keep me tame. So. Yeah, we just be working, just staying consistent. You know, you know. Of course, when you drop a, a big record like that, you know people gonna be watching this shit. But you know, I got here. I got here even sitting next to you, being myself. So mm -hmm. I'm just continuing, just doing that for sure. What's the history with you and Flash? Like, how how far back do y'all grew up together? Or <laughs> like, what's the history? You would with you think and we grew up together. I mean, I really would think that y'all grew up together. Each other, bro, probably like three years. Yeah, okay. two, three so probably years. like when I first met you, like y'all had just kind of really yeah, became yeah. acquainted at Rolling Loud. Uh, Type shit, yeah. Like the second Rolling Loud in New York. Like yeah, 2020, yeah. right? Nah, 2019. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2019. So the second Rolling Loud is when we is when yeah. we met, really. So that was around the time that probably y'all yeah, had me and him started getting mad cool. Yeah, he actually got me in there. Like he surprised me um, on that Rolling Loud because around that time I ain't gonna cap. I, I was about to quit music. Really? And my okay. son was just like, Nah, you ain't quitting music, bro. Yo, pull up to Queens. I'm like, what the fuck we going to Queens for? <laughs> Go to Queens, we get rolling loud. I'm like, hold up. <laughs> That's crazy. So shout out my boy. 
Yeah, shout out yeah, Kid Flash. Shout out my boy then. Kid Flash, boy. So y'all, so y'all just locked in on like some. How how did y'all first meet each other then? We we met in speed crib, right? Yeah, we we met um one of my homies' cribs, and then okay. we were just networking from there for sure. He was Flash was always a dude in the cut, just drawing, and I'm like, yo, what you drawing, bro? <laughs> so yeah, with you, right? So you're from you said where in Brooklyn you you from? Um, East New York. You from the East New York originally, born and raised. Yeah, born and raised East New York. Shout out the East, man. Shout out East New Shout York. Shout out the East, man. Um, we was just in the East that that Kells documentary we did. We shot that in East New York, so that's out now. So okay. go check that out. Um, but. When you were when you were living out there, right? When did you first? Were you kind of like you started doing music at the crib, or you were part of a church choir? Like, how did like it first start beginning for you? Um, my brother put me on the Fifty Cent, and then I never looked back. The, it was just Fifty Cent. The Fifty and then... Cent, yeah, because I used to go as um, I used to always go watch movies with my brother and my father. Okay, we used to go always see like um, Strike, Shark Tale, all this okay, other yeah, shit. Yeah. And then was when when Give It Die Trying came out, like oh three oh four, so whatever. Yeah, I think. So um, I couldn't watch the movie, and we usually always go on Saturday. So I'm like, fuck, like, I, ain't, well, I can't go. So my brother came back, and then he put on one, two, three movies. And then, yeah, I seen the whole 50 Cent shit. And then from that day, I was just like, nah, this shit fire. Like, I love music. Like, I, after 50, I got introduced to um, to Wayne. After Wayne, it was Hove, and then, yeah. It was over after that. Mm, okay, yeah, so yeah. 50 was like kind of like the yeah, real entrance point. Yeah, 50 is my entrance to everything, yeah. What's your favorite 50 song? <sighs> what do you think is the best 50 song? That's like a good so, question. your favorite. I ain't gonna lie, Window Shop was my shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Window Shop is my shit. Like, that was like my first, I ain't gonna I think that's my first favorite rap song, like okay. Window Shop. Like, I, used to be, I used to be like, yo, dad, play that shit. Yeah, you went to a <laughs> It's funny because like when they, when they joke around about how like kids these days like have like listen to drill music or listen to sexy red or shit like that. I be thinking yeah. about like the shit we listen to. Right. When we was kids, it's like it's not that different. Yeah, it's, it's really, not. Nah. It's, it's really not that different. Not for sure. Shout out sexy red. But, like too. you were singing Magic Stick back in the day too. It's like that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's like that's crazy. And like that's and like it's people our age criticizing sexy red. Right, I'm like, yeah. nah, y'all is y'all fucking nuts. I feel you. It's always been like that. Yeah, it's always been a. You know, that little part of hip hop yeah. that people not really. The provocative side of hip hop. Right, yeah, 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 exactly. But, pe but Yin Yang Twins, yeah, Yin Yang Twins. <laughs> but, yeah, but people becoming. But I, it's just funny how every generation does it to the next generation. Next generation. Even though we came exactly. up listening to like that shit. Exactly. It's, it's just funny how it all plays out. It always play, History always repeats itself with music. That's what I'm starting to see for sure. Well, with, like, what, with you right now, right? So we got the deluxe out to the project. Right? Yeah. Um, but we also working on a new project. Yeah, so coming real soon. Real soon with this new project. Real, real soon. But go, talking about the deluxe, like living too fast, right? At yeah. that point, when you put that project out, were you also in a state where you felt like you was living too fast? Hell yeah. And how? And what were you doing that felt that made you feel like that, or like that made you think like, damn, I'm because I'm around that fast. time, I ain't gonna cap, Gabe. I was working a job, I was going to school, and I was making music, and I was yeah. Doing all three at one time, and I'm just like, yo, I have to, like, you know, I was living fast. I was just doing a lot of shit. Mm. And then, um, yeah, that's basically the motivation around it, just me just juggling all three of them, my job, school, and then just music. Mm, okay. Type shit. So, yeah, that was just my interpretation for it, type shit. But, yeah, living too fast, deluxe, shit, I ain't gonna lie, man. Um, shit. That... We, we, I got that done like probably like in a month or two. I made that like around like around my birthday time, like mm -hmm. last year, like two years ago, 2021. I made that like around my birthday time because I wasn't gonna drop a deluxe. I was just gonna just ride it out, drop a couple singles last yeah. um next like, year, like, last year. Yeah. But I'm like, you know, let me drop a little project and then I dropped it, and that's what actually helped um MMM too, because people actually went back, listened to the old songs and stuff. So yeah, right. definitely. So now we're not living that fast no more. No, no, we're not living that fast anymore. We right. chilling. We chilling. So, so like this, obviously, like a new era of your life, new era of your career. Yeah. Obviously, you got a big record on your hands, right? With this project, like what? What is kind of like? Can you say the name of the project yet? Oh, of course, yeah. Same row season. Same row season. Season, yeah. So I, okay, obviously, name's very self-explanatory. Right? Yeah, it's definitely. Time. But going into it, like, what's kind of going through your head with this project? Because like you said, you don't really feel the pressure to follow up. Yeah. MMM, but like. What is kind of like the thought process now entering this project? Like, what's your mindset? Yo, we just have fun, bro. Mm. Just have fun. Like, literally, I just be having fun and just be living my life and then go back to the studio and just rap about it. 
literally like just the, the same routine. Like literally like my routine is go to the studio. Sometimes I like being alone. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not a dude that have 30 people in the studio. I'm like a like by myself record, do all that shit. So sometimes just be in the studio, have a have a lot of shit on my mind, roll up a blunt, smoke, and just record. Mm. Like literally, it's like my process doesn't change. Nothing changes. Just the same shit. Cause I don't want to change it too much. Cause it might, you know, it might interfere with like you know all my shit. So. I try to just do the same routine, same routine, because if it's not broken, then, you know, you don't got to fix it. Right, right. So that's basically what I'll be on right now. But, yeah, it's the same road season, just I'm just trying to let people know I, I'm him, and it's time. Like, I've been rapping for mad long. I've been putting in pain and pressure for so long. But, you know, I finally get my recognition, but, you know, I'm just trying to just amp it up just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? East New York finest, for real, for real. I honestly, I feel like I'm top five in the East right now, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Wait, uh, with the project, so it's coming out by the end of this year, obviously. Um, nah, it's coming out, like, real soon. Real soon, okay. Like, real, real soon. You got soon. anybody on it with you? Uh, yeah. You might as well say it, bro. I'm going to put this out at the end of the project. You might as well just say it. Uh... You got ACL Jacob on there. Tough, okay. Yeah, we got ACL Jacob producing on there. Producing, got, okay, not rapping, producing. No, producer, okay, yeah. Okay. We got Flash producing on there. Okay. I don't know. I ain't gonna say too much. How'd you yeah. meet Jacobs? Jacob, actually, I did it through uh, my boy DB. Oh, okay. Yeah, my son Devin put it together. Um, um, DB is one of his, like, um, it's one of his artists, right? His producers, yeah, he's one of his producers. And, um, yeah, he just sent me the record and I just got it done and shit. That's so fly, yeah, I appreciate DB for that for real, for real. He ain't even had to do that for shout real. Out DB. Yeah, yeah, shout um, out my boy DB. So you got Jacobs on there, you got Flash, you got any artists you got on there with you? Just say, cause I'm gonna put this out like the weed the party. Nah, nah, I don't, I don't got no artists. Just you. Yeah, just me right now. Just you, okay. Yeah, just me. With um, with the project too, it's like, are you gonna follow it up with the deluxe? You already have like that that plan in mind, also. Yeah, deluxe, singles, vlogs. Features, you know what I'm saying? I just want to get people just me for this album. So right. um, definitely look out for just great production, great bars, great turn up music, great music just to just chill and just listen to. So I, I think I I try to like every project, I try to hit different pockets and different vibes. Like, you know, sometimes like you, you have a listen to a project and it's just one sound yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah. I try not to do that. Like, you know, I try to like introvert it a little bit. So I think this is my best version of that. With this project, so I'm really excited just to like get it out and just see people's opinions on it for sure. Right. With um, I would I want to say like one of the the most interesting things about your catalog too is the record that you have with Ant and um, Moxie. <laughs> like that's such like an interesting like trio of people that I like would never have like like if you ask like if you like oh if you show me that record you like I got these three artists I'm like these are so random, three yeah. different random <laughs> artists to throw together on a record. What is the story behind that record? <laughs> He's talking about uh, the Sam Silva record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, honestly, they just reached out, and, you know, he he been supporting for a minute, so I just did it for him. You know, just one of them moments. Yeah. Literally, just one of them moments. You know, I just wanted to support, so I just did it. It's an interesting grouping of artists. It is a diff different group. Actually, you know, it's crazy. When I first did the record, Ant wasn't even on it. I didn't even think. It was nobody on the record when I first did it. Oh, it was just you and it Silver. Was, it was just me. Yeah, it was just me and Silver. So he just had like that little hook, and then I came in. But then he, instead of making his verse the hook, he made my verse the hook. And then mm. he put Ann on it. He did like a whole 360. He like a Frankenstein. This. He yeah, Frankenstein it together. Yeah, he did some whole scientist shit with it. So I'm like, yo, shout out to him, though, for sure. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Even my dad know that record. My dad was like, yo, you got a record with ASAP, man? I'm like, how you know this? <laughs> <laughs> Does your dad tune into shit like that or or to be honest, my pops like he 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 heavily Afrobeat. Okay. Heavy, I heavy that. reggae, Afrobeat. If he do if he listens to the rapping, honestly I don't know who he listens to on his downtime. I really don't it's a know. Climate right now. I He's hope out, he yeah. listens to me, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy cause my dad he is he is funny. He is funny. He the type to like you know, you got his little Range Rover. He would drive like around the neighborhood, just mm. blasting my music. Like, oh, that's what he blasting, does. Yeah, like I remember when Margella first came out, the remix. Yeah. Oh my God, proud father. <laughs> I was gonna say like, does he like? <laughs> is he a fan of your music like that? Cause he's talking about how he likes how much he likes Afro beats and yeah, and reggae nah, nah, and yeah. Devil. He supports me like he he everything I drop like the 
Probably five, ten minutes after I put it on my gram. Yo, what's that song? Yo, I never heard this before. Yeah. Yo, why you don't drop that song? I heard the other day. <laughs> so he be on your ass about yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah, he be, yeah, he be, he be on it. He be on it. But like, yeah, he be, he supports OD. Like, like I said, when Margella first came out the remix, mm. he literally was driving around blasting that song. I literally had people like, yo, I just seen your father. He was blasting Margella <laughs> around the, the neighborhood. So, shout yeah. out Papa Rose, right? Yeah, shout out my boy. So we got Saint Rose season all the way. That's coming very soon. Probably maybe by the time you've seen this, it's coming this week. Make sure you go stream that. Go check Definitely. that out. Um, on the radar freestyle out now. Movie. Go check that out. Movie. Um, before we get up out of here, right, and we let the people go watch that freestyle. Uh, anything else you want to let the people know where they can follow you at? All that good stuff. Now is the time to do it. This camera on the right. Um, okay, follow me everywhere at Corey St. Rose, C R R E Y S T dot Rose. Follow me. St. Rose season on the way. A um, lot of stuff on the way, man. I just want to say shout out to my team. I want to say shout out to Jerry, shout out Bundy, shout out Flash. Flash got a couple things on the way, you know what I'm saying? He got the yep. flies. He got Flash in his bag right now. Tune in to Kid Flash, like I said. And then, um, yeah, just keep supporting, keep watching. We got a lot of stuff on the way. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most, and I forgot. True Colors, merch, doc, um, dot net. I got merch on the way, too. So, if you like clothes, pull up to my site, you know? I got a little sale going on, so yeah. There you go. Yeah, Make definitely. sure you go buy some merch. Go check out the project once it's out. St. Rose season on the way. New project um, very, very soon. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Maybach soon. single out now, so go check that out. Um, before you get up out of What's here. What's up? I can get an outro from you? Yeah. I can get on one of my songs? What do you want? What do you want to do? I don't know. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Well, make sure you go check all that out. Make sure you go follow him. Go show him some love. Go show him support. Love is free. Support is free. That's but a fact. Do that. Until next time. Of course, Rose on the radar. We out. It's a long time coming. Let's get it. Love. Yes, love.